Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to be show in a Hyper-V server how to enabling a virtual network. This is a Windows 2022 server. In this server, by default, we cannot through the GUI we cannot enable the virtual network. So I am connecting to the server manager. First, I'm going to be this is a new server. I'm going to be disable the auto start server manager. So now I'm going to the local server. Let it load all the services. Now I'm going to the local server where I we can see uh, the NIC teaming. In this server, total four NIC cards are there. Out of four, I'm going to be use three NIC cards for teaming. One I'm going to be add later. So in the local server uh, ser services, we can see the NIC teaming, which is in disabled state. By pressing that same, we can enable it. So I'm going to be click on the task and creating a new teaming. So we need to give any name for this teaming. I'm going to be give NIC team. So I'm going to be select the first three NIC cards which are not connected cable with message. Rest all things I'm going to be keep it as it is. The LACP I'm not going to be select. I'm going to be select the switch independent. <coughs> okay so there is no cable connectivity so that's the reason it is showing a failed state so let it be i'm going to the services i mean just refresh and see okay so we now we can go to the add roles and features here i am going to be add hyper v role just time we're paying a nick nick, nick teaming is yeah it's there so now i'm going to be enable Hyper V role. Just I enabled Hyper V. Then continue by pressing next. Okay, click next. Next. Here it is not showing. I'm uh, because reboot is required. I'm not going to be selecting any nick for the virtual nick card. So I'm just uh, uh, leaving that. Okay, here I'm going to be enable Hyper V virtual machine uh, my live migration. Otherwise, uh, we need to be enable later. That's it. I'm going proceeding with that reboot. Let it install the required roles, then it is going to be a perform the reboot. reboot is completed um, again I'm going to be connected to the, the server I'm just verifying 
try to create a virtual switch in the Hyper-V GA This is the PowerShell command I'm going to be used to create the switch through GA it is not going to be just selected I given a random name and I'm going to be select the teaming NIC card then click OK just I'm verifying the NIC card yeah the same NIC I selected this is the error it is going to be throw because in Windows 2022 it is not going to be allow the legacy mode teaming so that's the reason uh, we cannot create a virtual switch through the GUI so to fix this issue I'm going to be create a virtual switch through the PowerShell I'm going to open a PowerShell with run as an administrator mode then I have shown one command the same thing I am going to be use which is nothing it is going to be create a new virtual switch the vir new virtual switch name I am going to be present then I am going to be give uh, the nick name whatever the teaming nick card we created that we are going to be give No, the new nickname which is a VM nick we are going to be create. So let me modify. Okay. So VM nick I'm going to be create. So new nick is VM nick. So I'm going to be copy this command and paste in the PowerShell. Okay. Now it is going to be execute. It will take time to create a virtual NIC. Okay, virtual NIC created successfully. Now we can see the virtual NIC in the Hyper-V switch itself. So we can see here, there is a new NIC created. So now I'm going to server manager. And now I'm adding the fourth NIC to my teaming as I mentioned in this server total four 1GB NIC cards are there so previously we added three NIC cards now I am going to be add the fourth one to that uh, teaming so overall throughput I will get 4GB apart from that I'm going I'm going to be get a redundancy in case of any physical port failure can see here let me modify properties you can see total three NIC cards are there the fourth one is not part of it I am going to be add the fourth one click OK it's going to be apply now all the four ports 
are part of that teaming now you can see the last but one nick got connected physically it's going to take a while to came into the online let me re okay now we can see the nick 2 i mean from last from the bottom uh, second one we can see one gbps it is showing and it is going to be coming to active state okay now we showing an active so if i connect the remaining two cables those two ports also will come into that active and all together it is going to be give a 4 gb throughput and it's going to be helpful for the redundancy so that's it uh, friends in this video we'll connect 